Welcome to Find Your Shape, a podcast by Lewisburg Plastic Surgery featuring Dr. Alexander Moya, the expert in body contouring after weight loss and inventor of the Corset Body Lift. Hi, my name is Brittany, and I will be your host. In each episode of this show, Dr. Moya and I will discuss the complex world of body contouring after weight loss. Our goal, as with everything we do here at Lewisburg Plastic Surgery, is to provide you with the educational resources you need to make the best decision for your personal situation. You've lost the weight, now let's find your shape. Hello again there, Dr. Moya. How are you? Hi, Brittany. I am great. Looking forward to our next podcast. Yes. So a lot of patients like to come talk to you about their concerns. Um, What options do we have uh, for them to do so as far as a consultation? When it comes to consults, I offer uh, two options. One is an in-person, which is is obviously great because we get to see the patient face-to-face, uh, go over everything, give them a good evaluation, um, and come up with a, a treatment plan. Mm-hmm. But that's not reasonable for uh, a handful of patients that live far away, you know, different right. states. Whatnot. Like in Texas. For Correct. Instance. I'm not going to make them come as, to an in person consult. I won't make that mandatory mm-hmm. for me to evaluate you in order to mm-hmm. proceed to surgery. So we do offer, if patients are comfortable, not that I don't get patients that come from. Mm-hmm. different states for the right. console because they actually want to, yes, because they want to, you know, see the facility, mm-hmm. see me in person, see you right. in person, right. you know, all those things. And that's great. But um, it's not reasonable for um, uh, other patients. So we do offer a phone consult with photo review. Mm-hmm. So what does that entail? Basically, we'll send patients uh, forms to be filled out of their medical history, mm-hmm. of their weight loss history. Um, and we have a nice system online that, mm-hmm. that, that, to do that so that can be uploaded easily. And then we'll also obtain some f- selfie photographs mm-hmm. of the patient. We have a guideline that we'll send out to them so that if they have the ar- their arms are concerned, it shows them the appropriate pictures we want for their arms or their waistline, whatnot. Um, and then once we have all that information, I can review it all, mm-hmm. and then I can call the patient of course, that'll be a specific time, and we offer two options. I'll talk about that in a minute, but once I get all the information, I'll call them, and we have our conversation. Um, the key is we do offer two different time periods for a phone consult. Uh, we offer one during the week. Um, it's usually at 8 o'clock. Uh, we have a PM. PM, correct. Um, we have a separate, it's a separate fee schedule. That's why we offer this for those that, feel that they want to get in sooner than rather than later. Otherwise we do offer a Sunday evening. Um, and that's more spaced out. Mm-hmm. Usually once it's, a month, it's once a month. It's the first Sunday of the month, unless it's a holiday weekend, mm-hmm. then it gets pushed over. Um, and we offer that for the, for convenience. And it, it's actually at a, a little bit of a lower cost mm-hmm. for the, uh, the console. I think it's $58 versus $95 basically. Okay. Uh, and that's what we do for our uh, consults um, uh, when it comes to mm-hmm. options for patients. What can patients expect uh, for an in-person visit? Uh, what do you do during the consultation? Uh, for an in-person visit, we do the same things. We can send out forms early so they can have it already submitted. For their medical history. Correct. The medical history, the weight loss history form. If for some reason that they don't, then we... we you, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you help. You you are asking all the questions, and you help get it all inputted into the uh, into our uh, medical records. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the first thing, and then um, then we'll come in and we'll examine the patient, um, see what their concerns are, uh, and usually what I do then is I step out, I let them get redressed, mm-hmm. so that we can do a discussion after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I use a lot of illustrations. So on some, on, for some surgeries, or I just use a lot of patient photographs. Right. Before and afters. Correct. To really get a good feel for, you know, what the expectation would be for their result. I have enough before and afters that I can actually cherry pick the ones that look like them. Right. (laughs) Right. So I've been doing this for so long and I have a lot of pictures. So that's really helpful Mm -hmm. for patients to get a good feel for it. Right. So they would come in, they would provide their medical health history, weight loss history. Um, since we're talking about weight loss surgery after, um, you know, significant weight loss. And, um, so they would really need to have all of their information, their ducks in a row, basically 
to ha- give us a detailed information for their health history so that we can evaluate that, make sure that they're safe for surgery to proceed, all those things. Correct. Some patients come in a little ill-prepared and are scrambling to get information and kind of throws a wrench into the appointment sometimes. So it's nice to have that. Absolutely. So we would say that the, the more information they can bring in about their health history, the better. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we're going to dot all our I's and cross all our T's when we come up with a plan. And part of that is based off how healthy they are, what mm-hmm. is their previous medical issues? Mm-hmm. You know, have they had a blood clot in right, the past? Like, oh, yeah, I had a blood clot. Did and... they bleed easier? Mm-hmm. Um, these are all the things that we need to figure out mm-hmm. to come up with the plan. Do they have an anesthesia? Right. Uh, reaction, for mm-hmm. instance. I mean, those are all like the little things right. make the big difference. But we will definitely flush it out right. to figure this out. So absolutely, the more information we can get from the patients, the more they can come in with in person, mm-hmm. the better. Right. I, from, the, from the perspective of phone consult, I'll still ask them the same questions. Because right. if I feel, it's all the same. if I see something a little, uh, you know, like, hey, what is, it, what is this here? Or have you ever had this before? Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. It's a little, they have a little bit of a, uh, I guess better heads up. They can prepare a little bit more prior to their actual phone call with you. They can get those forms ahead of time, fill them out, do their research, make sure all the blanks are filled in pr- uh, prior to that discussion. Correct. So it's a little nicer in that aspect. Correct. Okay. Um, and at the end of the consult, then if we come up with a treatment plan and they are uh, eager to proceed or mm-hmm. very interested in proceeding, we'll put together uh, surgical quotes for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of times we give it to them the day of their consult in person. Yes. Uh, if it's a uh, phone consult, then uh, I'll have to put it together after the phone conversation. Mm-hmm. And we, we send that to them usually via the portal, our mm-hmm. online portal. So, I mean, mm-hmm. they will get that information as soon as possible um, so that it helps them make decisions mm-hmm. going forward. Right. And then if they do choose to proceed, uh, they would just need to be prepared to pay the deposit for booking the actual surgery. Correct. Since we, we do book out usually four to five months, a mm-hmm. lot of patients uh, like to have a time set so they can also arrange their life in preparation for surgery. So we we do a $250 booking fee, mm-hmm. which reserves the date of surgery. And that could be, and that's for each day. So for instance, I do mm-hmm. a lot of back-to-back surgeries. Right. Uh, then it would be 250 for each day. Uh, it is refundable up to like, I think they say two weeks prior to surgery, um, unless there's a, some sort of emergency, of course. Mm-hmm. All right. Perfect. That's a lot of great information. So hopefully we'll get some more people in here to help them change their lives. That sounds great. That's what we're here for. Yes. All right. Thank you, Dr. Moya. Thank you. That's a wrap on this episode of the podcast brought to you by Lewisburg Plastic Surgery and Dr. Moya. Please be sure to subscribe to our show so that you never miss an episode. And for more information on Lewisburg Plastic Surgery or the course of body lift by Dr. Moya, please visit us online at lewisburgplastic.com. We'll see you next time.